Good foggy Tuesday, everybody. I think what day it was. It is 41 degrees, 5 degrees Celsius out, and uh, about 25 after 9. Yeah, got that right on the head. All right, had to go revamp my belt because I given Tim the hook when he was walking them the other day when I broke my belt. So now we're all back together. We're on the uh, pocket three today, right now. Not to say it won't switch, but it's not raining, and it looks like until three o'clock we're good. I need to be more mindful of the microphones when I'm wearing more jackets, because uh, I really kind of messed up yesterday a little bit. I'm trying to put it in the center this morning, so. But, uh, good morning, everybody. It's, uh, it's damp out because of the fog and everything, but it's, you know, 40's not too bad. So, getting these guys out for an actual walk. I already got my challenge because I just, after Mike and I got done with uh, Forza Motorsports last night, I just, it was after midnight, so I just fired up in a yoga exercise because I wasn't sure what today was supposed to be like. And uh, I did bring the pair of gloves. I found the other one in my Oakley jacket yesterday. So if I need them, I have gloves. I don't have the hand warmers with me. Kind of want to see how this thing works with gloves. So let me put this one on. I don't even know what these gloves are, to be honest with you. They're, there's like no name brand on them. Let's see how that feels. They're decent. They're not super thick. But uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can act, I can run this thing. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, and I, I added in, uh, I was watching, I don't know, a gentleman's video. I've seen him before, but I don't remember. Um, and uh, he was going over, why am I not on a setting? <laughs> Pocket 3 doesn't have settings, that's why. I don't know, if can you add profiles to the Pocket 3? I don't even remember. Let me try to line that back up. But, uh, anywho, yeah, with the Action 5, it's, it's really weird because everything's saying 17 millimeter, but you can physically see the lens backing up when you go from standard D warp, which basically is taking the curve of the ultra wide lens out. Um, but everything's saying 17 millimeter. It's kind of baffling really. So in my, I don't know, I, I found when I got the stuff back from Mike, I found the small rig cage for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The 16 technically fits in there but it will not latch. I pulled some of the rubber seal out to see if that would help. And it's, the camera is actually thicker and the ultra wide doesn't line up. Now that's hilarious. The, the head of maintenance, his, uh, he lives seven miles from uh, World's End. I thought he lived up the other way. Oh well, I don't know where people live. Oh, that's right, Chuck lives up, up Jersey Shore way. But uh, no, I definitely, we definitely need to revisit dry running. So uh, yeah, anyway, I was, so I got on, Right now, the newer, so I've always gone with the small rig cages. The problem with the cages is they are phone specific, exactly what I'm going at now. Granted, that's three years older. Um, <clears throat> the fact that the phone fits in there, the buttons all line up, the ultra wide camera is the only one that's an issue. You wouldn't be able to use the filters because there's, no, there's not enough gap there. You'd actually scratch the lens, which was my other concern that I was gonna scratch a lens with it. But the newer cages, are 17% off right now and they're like 40 bucks. The problem, and it comes with three different plates that you can connect, which is nice. You can actually pull the plates off individually for mounting lenses. So you get the ones for the thread in lenses, you get the T mount lenses from Moment, and then you get a 76 millimeter uh, attachment for filters. Of course, the filters I have are 52 millimeters and 72 millimeters for the big camera. So size-wise, I would need to get yet another KNF Concepts filter, which is more than double the price. If I got one with the same exact one I just got, it'd be the same price for, for the phone version. But with the Moment app, it's like, part of me is like, hmm. I wish one of these uh, camera apps would actually in, in to integrate like a digital ND filter. All right, we definitely have some dense fog. You're not gonna see anything today, geez. Visibility is maybe 100 yards. High steel's almost invisible from here. 
kind of crazy. All right, Mateo did his potties. He is notorious for doing more than one, so we'll give him the opportunity to uh, walk another one out. He doesn't want to go any further. He's like pulling back now. He's way, way, get, he's, oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, we'll just turn around then. Come on, Sulky, let's go. It's not too bad out here, dude. You can do it. You need to get some exercise. You haven't gotten a lot lately. Seeing that our World's End trip got ended abruptly with a broken grim belt. I almost didn't say that right. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's like the, the Moment app, because I got it, and it's free and I can make the adjustments, there's a part of me that's just like, you know, I could have that cage on there and just have that filter in the freaking bag, pop it on and at least get some long exposure shots um, without having to carry the big camera with me. Now, I don't know how well ultra wide would work with it or the zoom would work with it, but that would be a, a good little testing subject and do a little video on it. I just don't know if I can justify $140 more right now. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it's not, oh, I don't know if I can. It's no, I, I just can't. But there's a part of me that's like, hmm. Something that'd be a little bit, you know, slightly more portable. I mean, the 5X isn't quite enough in reality because uh, I think those shots I was doing the other day, I was probably about 300 millimeters on the Sony. And you're talking 120. And, I mean, for the waterfall and whatnot. So, there's always, there's always limitations to everything you do. And this is why you have more than one piece of equipment. You know? It's just carrying the damn big Sony all the time is not easy. I will say, though, using the Joby, way more convenient. Even doing handheld shots, you can almost use it as like a... You can put, press it against you and have it like a, a chest rigged almost in a way i mean it gives you some sort of stability that way so yeah mike's like don't be buying more shit. i'm like i'm just looking i put it in my wish list that's all i did but i mean if i'm gonna if i'm gonna get the filter i mean mike's said he has like 20 67 millimeter filters but i don't think he has the cpl and when we're dealing with waterfalls and water the cpl just is an added bonus for clarity so I don't know. I don't know. And I mean, the Joby would even, you just put the quick release plate right on there and just, you can switch between the Sony and it really fast. If I had another plate, do I have another plate? I think I might still have two of them. One's missing, I think. I don't know where the hell that ended up. But anyway, because I had like three of those heads. Ugh. Oh, it's just, it never ends. It just never ends. Because here's the problem. Now Mike's getting me into more complicated photography. And it's like, okay, what what can I do? What else can I do this with? You know? Part of me was bringing the Sony out, the Xperia. But the, the problem with the Xperia Pro I is the only time you can do all the pro stuff is with the one-inch sensor that's, you know, cropped. <laughs> They never came back out with another one of them, did they? No, they sure did not. And I think, like, like I said the other day, it comes down to how much do we want to compete with our big boys and <clears throat> affect the market on selling, you know, the, cam the, the, the real cameras. Uh, you know, your phone camera is the one that's in your pocket. It's the one that's convenient all the time but a major camera company that does also make phones, which I believe Sony is the only one, right? Uh, doesn't want to make the phone replace a, tw a, a what? It was, what was it, $1,500 when it came out? Something like that, $1,200, I don't know. It was expensive, I know that. Might even been more than that, I don't remember. They're now they're half price. Um, they don't want to make that rival their $2,000 camera, then you need to add thousands and thousands of dollars of lenses. Kind of like the RX10 Mark IV being the last version of it, being a bridge camera. They don't want another model coming out competing with their higher end models. 
the idea is that you step up, you say, oh, this doesn't do what I need it to do anymore, I need more, and then you have to go buy a body, and you have to go buy lenses, and then they're making money, and you're, you're spending it. It's business. It kind of sucks, you know, I wish there'd be a company out there that'd be like, you know what? That tree goes any further. Sorry, ADD. That tree goes any further, it's going to be laying in the road. This wet ground right now, they really need to come down and just cut him down before he's in the road. And I think this one's starting to lean over here too. He's pulling up. He is definitely pulling up out of the ground. That bump is getting bigger. I should put a, I should just start measuring the lean on this tree every so often to see. Cause that is uh those roots were not that exposed. I mean they're they're in there probably pretty decent, but he is slowly coming out of the ground. We're gonna come down the road one day and he's gonna be laying in it. Uh, how many feet does he have? It's kind of hard to judge. Oh, he's gonna he gonna have some distance in the road. I'm gonna say right about here, he's gonna hit the curb, and the rest of that tree is gonna be across the road here with ease. Since maintenance does watch my videos, obviously, because he knows I was at World End. Yeah, the one right across from the do not trespass sign there, buddy. This one's coming out of the ground. <laughs> Oh, I think the one maintenance guy, he's like, I'll cut it down. I don't care. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's slowly making its way down. We get a heavy, heavy snow. Add the weight and the wet ground. Yep. He's going to be in the road and that won't be the first one. Oh, I don't have the right shoes for going through here, Mateo, but we're going to do it anyway, because I love you. Even though I'm an asshole dog owner, I love you. You can't tell I'm just a tad bit salty by that comment, can you? I don't know. I mean, it was on an older video. It was on with one with Arizona. Uh, when she, uh, I think when she passed away. So, I mean, <laughs> the poor dog, you know, she had a cancerous growth and it was, it was killing her. So we made the choice not to let her suffer. Uh, I honestly, I feel like we're, we're crueler to human beings with cancer than we are to uh, animals. Cause uh, we just let them suffer until they pass away on their own instead of, you know, putting them out of their misery. What you doing back there, boo-boo? What are you, where are you going? Where are you going, little man? Huh? Huh? He's a little more active now. He, was, he wasn't too happy about going down any further, but it's really, bo it's probably just boring for him. I honestly don't know why I'm even trying to get a lot of mileage. I do want to make a full lap though. Just because we haven't been out and we haven't gotten exercise. And I gotta get the princess out then. I think I'm gonna put her jacket on her too because it is it is raw out. I mean, I'm comfortable in what I got on, but these gloves are definitely helping. So I put them both on. Get a good test. Ooh, my toes are starting to get a little damp. Good thing I don't wear these to work. Alrighty, we got the princess out now. Well, the gloves do work on the iPhone. I think they've made the screens a little bit more better because I was actually able to use my screen the other day with a Band-Aid on my finger, which I thought was kind of interesting. It was one of the fabric ones, but nonetheless, it worked. So, get princess out. We're now at 42 degrees and 5 degrees Celsius. I think we were 41 and 4 a minute ago, or 40 and 4, something like that. A little warmer, not much. Ooh. I think we have some uh, Amazon stuff coming for Christmas presents for the puppers today by the post office. Something else, what the hell else did I order that was, I, I, I said didn't need it until like, I don't even know what the hell I ordered. I don't think it's coming yet. I think it's coming like freaking Friday or something. I saved like, I got like 7% back on it, whatever the hell it was. Wow, I don't remember what the hell it was now. Wasn't something I needed super quick. I was like, hmm, I'll take 7% back, cash back orders. I'm gonna have to look, cause I don't remember what the hell I ordered. <laughs> That's bad. 
Yeah, and it's definitely not clearing up out here. In fact, I think the fog is getting denser. Oh, work's going to be interesting tonight because we are doing inventory. They're doing inventory today. Like everybody under the sun is there until four o'clock and then it's just me and one closer. And I hope that's not the one that called off last night. We don't think it was. <clears throat> So, yeah, and today, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am running, I'm running on the Pockets battery. So I'm using basically my setup for hooking to the computer. And uh, yeah, I got in the house and went and put her jacket on her and wanted to check the exports or the render so I could export. And it's like, your Mac is almost out of storage. Please clear storage or cancel tasks. I'm like, uh, okay, since December 2nd, so the 2nd through the 9th, eight days almost eight terabytes 7.63 terabytes of files in that short period of time so it does uh take like i said a one terabyte unit just does not play well with me two terabyte would probably get me through a day with these videos <laughs> so <clears throat> And there's tricks you can do, but it also affects quality. So it's uh, let it go as it is. And like I said, with the export, I'm actually doing it under double pass now to make a higher quality video. So we'll see how that's all working out. All right. Get Princess for her mile walk and then uh, probably have something to eat. I don't know if I really want to have chili, though, because that might upset my stomach for work tonight. All right. I let her uh, sniff the outs outskirts of the vet <laughs> made her happy got a couple interesting pictures with the moment app one really cool one of the water droplets on the bush i'll have to throw that in the vlog goodness i think i I'm, if i didn't send it to mike i'm going to send that to mike too i was trying to see if there was any camera apps out there because i'm trying to figure out how his olympus one and some of these other cameras actually have nd built in i don't know if it's something that it's got to be some digital thing that's being done, I would think. I'm surprised no one's actually tried to devise something like that with one of these iOS camera apps. That would uh, eliminate a $100 purchase. Oh, my nose. She's running. I, got, I, do, I think I have one shoe left in my little pack. And my toes are getting wetter and wetter. <laughs> Sorry, right. I'll be getting a shower pretty much right after we get back. Get myself around for work. Because it is now 1031. So we've been, I think we've been out here over an hour. I'll know by the time on my thing. 57 minutes, 67 minutes. Yeah, hour and seven minutes. So, and Priya and I are just really are starting our walk. <laughs> but she did go potty and it was not good. So a lot of times when she has belly issues, she still goes normally. Not today, so uh, she definitely was not feeling well yesterday, but she snapped out of it pretty quick. Terry did kind of shove a one of the two pills down her throat that helped her stomach, and she bounced back fairly quickly because then she was hungry and all happy and jumping up and down. Probably within I don't know, say an hour, maybe less, which is good. So, alrighty. Wet toes and all, we're gonna keep doing this walk. I think, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna take her through the playground and do the below. But that way it gets us on the other side of the road and we can just make our way around. Well, the sun was starting to make its way out. <laughs> he getting covered in by fog again. There he is. I think I'm aiming at him. He's trying to make it, trying to get out of here. Alrighty, to try to reduce some of the heat, I made myself chili sandwiches with cheese, so. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Didn't come out too bad. I could have probably microwaved a little bit longer, but cheese started to melt. 